Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and this is Richard, and I'm so oh, come here, V, come here, yes, oh. and Violet's here too. What's that doing? Yes, you're doing. I have a little bit of a shopping haul for you, so let's get started. Can we get started? Yes, okay. So this is what we've got here. So I went to the Dollar Tree, and I've got two big old things of salt. And with this salt, I purchased a couple pairs of gloves. And uh, my intent for these items was for those two coyotes that, uh, that I have. Uh, I ended up not wearing the gloves when I was skinning them and dealing with them. Didn't do it. And... Uh, the salt I have to salt the hides. Uh, the two coyotes are in the freezer right now, and uh, I have to do a little bit of fleshing with them. So I have to I'll have to soak them, uh, thaw them out, soak them in some water for a day or so. But I'm considering not salting either one of them. I'm considering just once I get them completely fleshed just go right ahead and, and work the hides and uh, get them nice and soft and smooth without salting them. That's, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Although, I will still have to use some of this salt uh, on, the, uh, on the paws and the tail area because uh, I'm pretty sure that there's a little bit of bone left in, in those areas. and. Uh, the salt will help dry it out so that it doesn't rot up. But I'm thinking about not using, uh, I'm not going to turn them into rawhide. I think I'm just going to soften them right up. So enough with that. Next, I was, hold on one second, V. Hold on. Next, uh, well, we'll continue with the Dollar Tree. So I have uh, this Cricut 5 Minute Fire Starter. There we go. I purchased uh, two of those. I'm actually going to open one of these up and hold V. Hold on. I'm actually going to uh, do a test uh, of one of these here real soon. So I'm going to do a complete video just on that. And I'm going to have to take a break real quick because Violet wants outside. So I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so uh, next these next two items came from Walmart. This is a uh, Ozark Trails six inch fillet knife. Uh, I don't have a fillet knife and uh, I just wanted to make sure I had one. Put it in my kit. Uh, hopefully I'm going to do a lot of really nice fishing this year and I really plan on uh, doing more overnights than I did last year uh, so I'm hoping that uh, I'll have the opportunity to use that fillet knife and I do believe that if I do stay out for a night or two uh, most of my food will probably come from fish so we'll see anyway lastly I have this Night and Hail Legendary Call Arrowhead Deer multi call, and I found this in the uh, the sale section of Walmart, and uh, thought I would get it. Uh, I do not hunt. Uh, hold on one second, Violet wants back in. Alrighty, so anyway, like I said, I don't hunt, but. You never know when something like this will come in handy. Uh, I prepare for situations that could occur just in case and I can't even tell you the number of times that my prepper attitude and stash for food and other materials have come in handy uh, just in emergency situations. So anyway I purchased this deer call uh, again 
I, I do have a hunting license and it is good for 10 years. I have a fishing hunting license from uh, uh, for disabled American veterans and it is a 10 year license but it does not involve deer it doesn't involve turkey uh, and it doesn't include ducks any waterfowl there's no waterfowl no turkey uh, no salmon and no deer anything that you have to have a, a permit beyond the regular uh, it does not cover but it does cover hunting for everything else so anyway uh, I got it for just in case you never know so also uh, let's see I'm trying to think Walmart yes uh, also at Walmart I uh, purchased this it's an R2D2 lunch pail just a little just a little lunch pail I am going to make a survival kit out of this I love R2D2 uh, my second favorite character uh, yeah I'd probably say my second favorite character uh, and uh, I plan on making an entire survival kit within this and I do plan on doing a video that shows me making this kit and also uh, I plan on uh, this this year sometime uh, going out and surviving one or two nights maybe more but probably one or two nights with nothing other than what's in this kit so we'll see how that goes